candidates themselves, they have political advertising windows, they're guaranteed lowest rate. Um, so they, they typically will stick to that wheelhouse until we get closer to the election. Issue dollars are a whole different st story and they truly are sometimes political advertising on steroids. They have a ton of dollars. They have a ton of things at stake in these elections. So they are funneling money where they think it makes the most sense. So I mentioned earlier about Pennsylvania, for example, being a true purple state. You could have interest groups with no vested real interest in Pennsylvania. They don't live in Pennsylvania, but because that house seat or that, that position in Congress is important to the issues that they want dealt with, in DC, they will funnel all of their money into those campaigns. And they there is no maximum threshold. They can spend at will and they often do, which is why I'm sure most of the, the people who have joined us today, every commercial pod you see is now a majority of political ads. So one, want to reiterate something that you just said, they don't have the regulations that politicians do, especially on some of these platforms. Um, but more importantly, uh, their spending doesn't always stop when the election is over. These dollars continue sometimes throughout the end of the year and onwards. So as you're thinking about your allocations, that's something to, to be aware of. So uh, I learned that this year. Thank you for teaching me that. Um, but I figure our audience would like that too.